Hi, I'm Anthony Dean. I'm sure that you're probably familiar with the SR-71 Blackbird. Have you ever wondered what the spikes on the engines were for? The recently declassified and released SR-71A Blackbird Flight Manual tells the secrets of the inlet control system, controlled by the DAFIX computer. DAFIX stands for Digital Automatic Flight Inlet Control System. The purpose of the inlet control system was to position the supersonic shock wave in the optimum position for engine air ingestion as the speed and shock wave angle changed. The DAFIX computer also changed the spike position for a number of circumstances, including load factor, angle of attack, side slip, engine RPM, and unstarts, which we will discuss in a later video. Part of the separate air data system, the pitostatic tubing jutting out from the nose of the aircraft enabled a pressure transducer to sense pressure changes and turn the readings into electrical signals and send them to the DAFIX computer, which calculated airspeed, altitude, angle of attack, and side slip. Below 30,000 feet altitude, both engine inlet spikes were locked in the forward position. At 30,000 feet altitude, the DAFIX computer commanded the spikes in front of both engines unlocked. They remained in the forward position until the airspeed went above Mach 1.6, or 1.6 times the speed of sound. During automatic operation above Mach 1.6, the DAFIX computer retracted the spikes 1 and 5 eighths of an inch per 0.1 Mach number of additional speed. Retracting the spikes further into the engine nacelle increased the captured stream of air by up to 112%. With the spikes in the forward position, the engine only ingested 54% of what it was capable of. The spikes could move a total of 26 inches forward or backward. Though the spikes were usually controlled by computer, the pilot could also control them using the spike positioning rotary control knobs and monitoring the position indicator for each spike on the left side of the instrument panel.